Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Isaiah Bradley. He made his first appearance in Truth, Red, White, and Black, issue number one, that was released in January of 2003. He's also known as the original Black Captain America, standing six feet four inches tall, weighing 260 pounds, having brown eyes and originally black hair, but now he's bald. Now, Isaiah gained remarkable abilities due to him being exposed to a subsequent version of the super soldier serum. And although he didn't exhibit quite superhuman abilities, he did have peak human abilities. Being extremely strong, able to lift 800 pounds over his head, as well as being extremely agile and fast. Being able to run up to 30 miles per hour for long periods of time due to also having increased stamina. Isaiah also has enhanced senses and durability, being able to easily survive falls from a couple of stories, as well as being able to handle some hits from superhuman foes. The serum also slowed his aging, thus increasing his lifespan, as well as giving him a low level healing factor showing the ability to heal broken bones, muscles, knife wounds, and even some gunshots within a couple of days. While carrying out missions, Isaiah toted his own personalized double V shield, while also donning a loose chainmail uniform that would help deflect most small caliber fire. The only weaknesses that Isaiah exhibited would develop later on in his life. The imperfect version of the super soldier serum that he used made his mind deteriorate over the years. And this same serum would eventually leave him completely reproductively sterile. Now, Mr. Isaiah Bradley was a native of New York City, growing up and even meeting his wife named Faith Shabazz here. After their marriage in 1940, Isaiah would still be a newlywed during the Pearl Harbor attacks and would join the US Army to serve his country. This is when things get sketchy because the army still wanted to make more super soldiers similar to Steve Rogers' Captain America. But they had a hard time reproducing the results due to the death of the project's director named Dr. Erskine. The unfortunate decision was then made to experiment on 300 African-American U.S. soldiers in an attempt to recreate the new era of super soldiers during World War II. Isaiah would ultimately become the only one of 300 test subjects to survive the experimentation and the war. And to add insult to injury, Isaiah's very last assignment was a suicide mission to take out the doctor in charge of the German super soldier project, as well as destroy a death camp in Germany. He'd have a hard road on this mission, but he was successful and lived, although he was captured. Isaiah was eventually rescued by some German freedom fighters and was sent back home. But his decision to take an original Captain America costume and shield with him on that mission landed him in a military court-martial and he was given life in prison for this seemingly small act. He would eventually be released though due to his wife's diligent request to President Eisenhower for clemency. Although the nearly 17 years that he spent in solitary confinement was just long enough for his mind and body to slowly start to deteriorate due to the side effects of his imperfected super soldier serum. The secrecy around Isaiah and the unsavory project that created him would lead to just rumors and legends within the black community about him being a so-called black Captain America. And despite the secrecy, he would end up being a hero within the community, even drawing the respect of some high profile blacks from around the world, such as Muhammad Ali, Malcolm X, Richard Pryor, Angela Davis, Nelson Mandela, and even Colin Powell. His cult-like following even got him recognition from his fellow black superheroes, such as Luke Cage, Goliath, Pulsar, Triathlon, and Falcon. The dude was even recognized as a special guest during the wedding of Black Panther and Storm, thus solidifying his historical importance. And although his personal superhero days are over, it's worth noting that his bloodline would spawn several other superheroes, most notably his son, Josiah X, who also goes by Justice, and his grandson, Elijah Bradley, AKA Patriot, who became a founding member of the Young Avengers. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my one to 10 rating, I'll give the original Black Captain America, Isaiah Bradley, a rating of seven, which is a master rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.